Okay, now go ahead. Okay, let's call the meeting. 5 p.m. December 16th, the last meeting of, well, maybe, last meeting of uh, 2019. Hopefully we'll go out uh, on a high note. Uh, two trustees, Mr. Crockett won't be able to join us this evening. Um, let's see, Fire Chief is off for the week. Our administrator is here. Fiscal officer is present. And canine com companion <laughs> is among us. Makes a hurt mascot. Right. I would now entertain a motion to adopt minutes of December 2nd, 2019. I so move. I'll second. Any further discussion regarding those minutes? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Hauser? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. I now entertain a motion to adopt minutes of December 10th, 2019. That would be special minutes, special meeting minutes. I, I so move. There's a motion, I'll second that. Any further discussion regarding adoption of those minutes? Hearing that new vote also, please. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Okay, I now entertain a motion to approve payment of bills in the amount of $42,394.23, broken down general fund $2,586.95, fire fund $20,921.71. Cemetery Fund, $5,732.92. Uh, EMS Billing, uh, $8,154.75. The cemetery, that 5000 that part was from... Was that for Walker? Walker, well, mm -hmm. yeah. Is she called that? Yeah, right. I, I found it. Obviously. Uh, road and Bridge, $4,997.90. All in tires, just about. And Capital Project, zip, zilch, nothing. But... I move payment of these bills. We have a motion. I'll second that. Any further discussion of payment of these bills? Yes. I have a receipt from a road department for Speedway for a, oh, a gas can. A gas can. You don't I, have I needed, gas cans? I, needed, I, I couldn't. They were over there. I needed one here. Didn't have so long. There's tax on there. Yeah. It's 90 cents or something. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, but you didn't, did you put gas in it? Yes. <laughs> I needed a gallon, I needed the gas can to run it. I know, but there's no charge for gas. Well, it's only one gas stick, and I just put the gas, I got on the gas. Oh, I see. When I was filling up the truck, I, I didn't have a gas can, and I didn't have time to run over and get it, so. So, what do you need five gallons of unleaded for? I put five gallons. You, put, you filled up gas yeah. can, said gas cans. I think it was for a roller. For the roller? Well, part of it. I mean. Yeah. I, I didn't know you were using the roller anymore. Well, I was using it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it had gas in it then. Yeah, I think I put gas in, in a small can and then just put the rest in there. And then you take off. Just put the truck. I see. I like it's, all, it's legit. Big time operation. I'm not saying it's not. <laughs> I'm just saying it's uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, any further discussion regarding any of those accounts? Any of them, may we vote, please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Okay. So then let's see, we have correspondence for the evening. Um, apparently, I didn't print it out, but we did get a notification from, unless I've already said this, from the Board of Elections that the uh, levy language and everything has been approved. And so. I know you told me that. I had not heard it. Okay. Well, now, now we know. It's ready to go on the ballot in March. No problem. Um, selling your farm in Wilson, I don't think we need that one. Every uh, reminder from, uh, oh yeah, from uh, the GCID, or we are, um, that we had to pay that lawyer's bill. A first energy <coughs> worker Beware electric safety information brochure. That's important. Uh, hmm. Effective price increase of Martin Marietta. Clean stone, uh, 135 a ton. Base cool. material, many tons there. I'm not sure how much that went up, but it went up. So, uh, Mr. Gray better get his dump truck over there before yeah, the he, January Yeah, he probably this week. He said he was going to try to get in this week. Yeah, he's pretty busy, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, message from Dan Montgomery. Uh, I, 
didn't print out because it's pretty large, but there's a field report from uh, him and from Schaefer, the structural engineers, about the new firehouse. I guess we can talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that. New firehouse time. Uh, actually, we can talk about this at new firehouse time, too. Stuff to talk about. Um, no idea what this is. One America, employee benefits, carriers. Yeah, we um, apparently that's our life insurance. Oh, and it they, is? And, yeah, and they um, they have some sort of travel protection benefits as well. When we're traveling, I want us to be safe. Well, uh, that is, that we're already covered for that, mm -hmm. or yeah. we're, they're asking us. No, it says uh, you know you can read letter. Okay. Uh, we have a draft of legislation for Miami Township, uh, hopefully to be passed before the end of the year. Mm, time is ticking away. I haven't heard from Senator Hackett. Mm, Did you see him this weekend? He was not at the mm -hmm. residence. Uh, Bricker and Elkler letter, I don't know why we still get those. Um, sent us those for 50 years. But a set of meeting minutes, new, brand spanking new meeting minutes from the Green County Township Association. Mm -hmm. And they are not written by, and they're, not, and they're not a day before the, the next not, meeting. Well, they're they were quality, they seem to be, they seem to, be to, to, to my eye, they're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the um, uh, yeah, information packet from the uh, Green County Department of Development second annual developer breakfast that was last week. And not as interesting as the first one. Those things never are, but still good. So you went? I went. All right, any other correspondence in or out? Hearing none, we'll move to the fire department report. Uh, doesn't look like it. Andy, you got any report? No. <laughs> new firehouse report. Anybody got a new firehouse report? I know you do. I'm all excited. Mm -hmm. Tornado shelters up. Is that what that, 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 that is? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's a tornado I shelter. thought that was our office space. No, that would be, there would be, be bunk room in there. What else is in there? Two bathrooms, <laughs> bunk room. Wow. And, and it's two bathrooms in that relatively space? thick concrete walls. Huh. And strong concrete, too. I actually believe that it would survive in a storm. I can't yeah. wait till they pour a 16 inch roof on it. Wow. How are they going to do that? 16 inches? I believe so. Also, wow. if, if we happen to be in the office when the tornado comes, then we have a place to go. Exactly. 90% of the time, we're not there. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's good to her, you know. Mm -hmm. Good to know. So, that's. Uh, but I saw the plus that they're, they're working. I don't, I, I'm not sure they work today. Uh, yeah, I didn't plus. see any. I saw a pickup truck early for the first part of the morning, and I'm guessing it was Jason because there was no one else. Well, they work Saturday and they work Sunday. Not everybody. And they were supposed to wow. have a Christmas party on Friday, and there was a fair amount of people there on Friday. So uh, that must be they had to. It's so regimented only the amount of time and the concrete has to be perfect and they had to have one of those great big huge boom trucks you know oh, the pump, truck. to pump it into the, the walls uh, and so they probably had to work and the stuff was ready to go and the right temperature and when i first saw the, t the boom truck i thought that they were already putting up uh steel oh. that it was a crane mm -hmm. instead it was uh, pouring concrete yeah well it won't be long for that it's the other part here um, the uh, two two audits, the architect's audit and the structural structural people's audits. I don't know if anybody's looked at them. But I, I have I had a chance to look at them. They're they're not substantial. Uh, I think you were here the other day when they mentioned Dan Montgomery mentioned that they're supposed to have erosion fencing up around the trees and around the uh, the uh, extra piles of dirt and those sorts of things. And then they were missing some rebar in the foundation between some entranceway, and they wanted they wanted those rebars drilled into the new concrete and then epoxy in, which apparently is the way to 
do that stuff because they've already epoxied in about a bazillion rebar pieces that were left out. Um, and a couple other small things that doesn't I don't think it's going to sell us down. Um, the, two, the two emails that I was referring to was a request from Jason because uh, I had to leave the meeting early on Wednesday and it ran over to like 12, I don't know what, but I didn't get a chance to hear the discussion if there was any discussion on the uh, brick facing. Did, were you here for that? I was here, but I didn't hear any discussion about brick facing. And, I, um, that is, I was present. I, mm -hmm. I thought the meeting had really broken up. I stayed around because of the issue of uh, signing some of the papers that, mm -hmm. that you were still looking at. Yeah, that got goofed up a little bit. But the, um, the prevailing wage information is in your box. Okay. For that last, for that last payroll, uh, so if you if you need that, separate it out, and then I'll deposit the remainder. But um, Jason had asked if if we had made a decision on the uh, the cast stone, and I told him yes, we had to to go ahead and uh, do the the cast stone and make up the change order, and you know we'll get we'll get started on. It. He's saying. Oh, he's saying we did not discuss and decide that the cast stone cannot, but we cannot wait until January 2nd to decide and order. Uh, has it done deciding what to do with the bottom portion of the veneer? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, and so I messaged him that. I haven't heard a word of phone since like Thursday night, so I don't know if he's AWOL or I saw him to, uh, on Friday. Did you? Right. He was on the job site. We don't talk, he's busy. Mm -hmm. The other one was about the um, uh, inspection from the architect and the shape. So that's all I know about what's going on at the moment. Progress. We're on. We're on schedule. Now is under budget. Isn't Fillmore still has a little bit to do on Xenia Avenue? Because mm -hmm. I've got. I want to catch them. Well, to do a little interviewing. Uh, that might be interesting. Because he said they were going to be gone. I mean, I mean, I expect he'll just pull up half a dozen dump trucks one one at one, one day and fill them up and take off. Because that's all he's got is those spoils to get rid of on the north side. I understood that he he still had um, <coughs> on Xenia Avenue more gravel at that entryway. Yeah, he was going to do something with that entry water pit. Is the wrong word. But no, not pit. the water pit, but the uh, apron. Apron, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do they do with the water pit? Are they take it out or are they going to use it? No, they're going to use it. Because um, originally, I don't know, when, we were when I was tearing that, that was to come out. Yeah. The Masons asked to keep it because mm -hmm. they need water for you know, their work. So we said okay. And the village said okay. They put a little temporary meter down in there. And, uh, hooked it up to a hose and so it's, it's ready to go. But it'll be utilized in the building or the Oh no. Once it's taken out when Yeah, once the construction's done, they'll I was kinda of curious tap. why it's still there. I thought well they would have took it out. We're tapping off a marshal or something or mm -hmm. yeah. um, the water, no, I see, actually that's coming off of Herman. Herman, it's it. yeah. coming off one of the Yeah. Well the, the, apparently that um, that meat, that water pit, that, that water that's there, it comes out from its tap in the middle of the street. I know. Yeah. I know. So they don't want to. Because we would mess have had to up. dig it up. This village would have hooked it, but we had to open it up for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe somebody else will do it. Well, somebody else will not. But Phil Moore will come back and do it. So, anything else for the new firehouse? Nope. All right. Cemetery Sexton? Yes, sir. Looks like we're going to have a bear on Monday, next Monday. Next Monday? It's coming out of Grove City. What section? I'm not sure yet. She's going to call me back with her. I couldn't find her on the name she gave me, but she's meeting with family tomorrow and they've got a copy of the deed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That works for me. Yeah, exactly. That's in Glenforth. Glenforth. Did you get an email from Frankie Bennett at Jackson Lionel about some ashes? Hmm? There was a woman that passed away in town in September. Hmm? She was indigent or something. 
Yeah. Been dead for a while. Yeah. Uh, I guess the village in Jackson Line or somebody paid to have it cremated. Mm -hmm. And they want to know if we had a place to put it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. And, and I didn't know if we could put her at the scattering garden and then maybe put her name on the thing that we'd have to pay for. It. That's right. the thing. Well, so I didn't know what you wanted to do, but that was a thought I had, maybe. Well, we talked about indigent burial options a while ago, right? Like last year, maybe beginning of this year. I don't remember. Yeah, we, decided. we did somewhat decide, I mean, we threw out as one of the better solutions, using the scattering card okay. as... Maybe that's where it That's where you that thought. Yeah, yeah it could, could be. be. Um, so so I, you, I, I can contact Frank Ian. You can tell her. If they're, they're going to be all right, yeah. then I'll get the information, mm -hmm. her name or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I thought that would, that would kind of save us some, a little money. Mm -hmm. It's like 150 to have that number. Yeah. Yeah. Birth and death, of course. Have, have you seen the, have you seen the uh, uh, monument since it was etched? There's some names added to it. Sykes and them were on there. I think, I think there's four on there. Do you recall if the reader person is there? I think it was on. It was in their list of stuff to do uh -huh. because okay. when I talked to them what a month or six weeks ago or whenever before they done it, mm -hmm. that that was one of the names. Because Ann called and wanted the list, and I said, "Well, I gave you the list." Well, then they found it. Mm -hmm. so that was one of the names with the site. You saw the mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll leave it. Oh, yeah, she said she was kind of. Um, I told her I it was my understanding that that it had been recently taken care of. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, I haven't been there in a while, and so she was going to go look today. Mm -hmm. So and I said, we'll call us, you know, of course, if there's, it's not there. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard from her, so. I think, yeah. I've been here all day. Just around yeah. since then, so. I'll go myself tomorrow. But when I had a glance, I know the sites were on there, and I know she was on the list. Mm -hmm. so. <coughs> okay. uh, I'm reminded that I'm supposed to talk with you about uh, Clifton Cemetery setting up protocol, procedures, rules for memorial trees. Like the plant trees? We are going to allow that. And you but. need to tell us, you know, like, what kinds, where, so that assumedly smaller flowering trees. Ornamental type stuff. Yeah, ornamental. And then it would be along the fence of the line or maybe an open area with no grave. Yeah. Oh yeah, Letha, her family, her kids wanted to plant something for Chuck. And we thought She's we on could, the cemetery board, mm -hmm. and, you know, so but the, yeah. we get suggestions from the tree committee, but we've got some you need to areas where it's not big enough for a grave and that could be and not near for the road or anything. Yeah, we need your it was agreed that we wouldn't do anything that we would absolutely no, you're, yeah, wouldn't if allow. You were, it would be with the authorization permission of, the, of, the, of you. A couple, one, we're going to take just, out a couple of trees are dead and you come out of one back in the corner and one by the dead and die. We do want that option. Okay. And then okay. there was um, discussion of maybe what to charge. Like the first, the, yep. the family would purchase the tree. But we would plant, we would place it. Well, then we'd need to perhaps spend three years of special watering and fence because of deer, and that's an expense. And so we need to figure out what's happening. Or maybe the tree committee was to be willing to help out, but we still probably not in Clinton. Did they go to Clinton? I don't yeah, know. I think so. Not, not yeah. normally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, anyway. I'll, I'll bring that up later. Not, not in the meeting. Or I'll follow through later. I don't think there's anything. I've done a little work in the back. Yeah. I mentioned to Todd the other day. Wait, you want him to go in there and work? Mm -hmm. I'll be able to do it. Well, you still have him in there at work? Or? Well, unless you're done. Oh, I'm not quite done. A few more trees to take out, small ones. Mm -hmm. I didn't know we were still having Todd doing it. I thought I was I, I, I know you made a couple patterns at it. Last last fall, but you know. Well, I've done a little bit. It's not half of it. So we'll address it. Yeah. All right. Well, let me I check. I can back off Oh no, not if you think you have the have the time and energy. Well, I get a minute. You know, kind of low and then run the trip. Spend a couple hours where I could progress. Mm -hmm. Did you um.
Um, okay. You good? Yeah. All right. Covered Pardon? a bunch of roads. Uh, they're clear. Yeah. They were white last night. Yeah, they were. <laughs> they're wet now. It's raining. Mm -hmm. They're waiting on us to call it out. If they call us, I'm going to have Randy go to the other. Yeah. The whole rest of the day. Was he out at all today? No. Oh. He called me this morning. I was busy already to call him and he called me. And yeah. I don't know if it was real important. So now I got to get something to do. How's the tires? Great. I like them. Yeah? You got heavy traction? Yeah. Better. You know, that thing, you know, how it always did kind of longer. But it worked fine. I didn't have any trouble with it. The other truck, I like those tires real well. Mm -hmm. On the older truck. Yeah. yeah, I like them real well. And that's you were driving in the snow, though, did you? No, but we use that more for hauling in the dirt and the graves and stuff. I, I like they're They're good tires. I think we did all that. These tires are okay. Just those front tires throw me off because they're, they're yeah, not very aggressive. They're just kind of straight threaded. Mm -hmm. So far, I didn't have any trouble with them. Uh, where'd your tanker go? Clifton. Did it? Did it fit or did you have to cut anything out? No, it fit. We pulled it in. Yeah. I tried backing in first because I was just curious, you know. But we pulled it in to fit right in there. So. Yeah. How much clearance do you have? Uh, the antenna laid back. That was it. It was all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. By pulling it. Yeah. I wouldn't have went in because I think the lights were hit. That. It's that second beam inside the, when you go in the bag. Mm -hmm. But we turned around, pulled it in. Good. Good. So now we have an open bag. Yeah. You got a shoreline on it or anything? No. Should I get one put on it? I don't know. Or disconnect the battery or something. Because it's. I didn't have a shoreline on out here. You know, of course, the batteries were out. They were fine. It could have been started. So it's, mm -hmm. it might run you in. So. Well, I'll see about I can imagine it's not going to get out much. It's got a shoreline, right? I'll plug in for it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll get one of Okay. Um, did that uh, valve ever show up, the dump valve? I don't know. That's how they talked about it. Right? Hell of a back order. I haven't heard any more about it. It's the one on the back, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, like a year back order or something. I have to ask the chief. I have... mm -hmm. Okay. We'll find out. Okay. Are we putting it on? I don't know. It's been a while since that one, but mm -hmm. I don't know if you do it pretty, pretty good. We don't have to, but whatever. Uh, okay. Did you end up putting any coal patch in? Not yet. Uh -huh. Do you have it? No. Uh huh. Well, make it. I was going to get it, but they still have a truck back home. You know? mm -hmm. Now I got the truck back. And, right. You know, later in the week. I wanted to do it last week. Yeah. I'm going to get some. Yeah, we got a few potholes around. We can fill in. Mostly dry towards the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. Remind me after me to let you listen to a phone message. Unless I got rid of it, but I don't think it did. Just has to do with township roads. All right, All right anything else? I don't know anything. You make any uh, inquiries about new mowers or anything? No. Else? no. I'm I'm sure not, I'm not here. I'll make time. Anything else for Daniel? Oh. Ms. Sullivan? Yes, present. Um, I have an amendment of a permanent appropriations. Shows I am. I know. Says Domer. We were one of guys. Um, yeah. Um, so in the general fund, we're increasing. We, I accidentally increased the trustee salaries by 1900 I didn't need to. I meant to do the one right below it. <laughs> but anyway, so but since once it's on the, it's in the computer and it says I did it for the sake of the auditors, I can't leave off of our resolution. Then I get, mm -hmm. I get a hand slap. Mm -hmm. So, but I did increase a medical hospitalization by uh, two thousand one hundred six, and office supplies by two hundred seventy. In the general fund, we increased the phone uh, appropriation line by twenty seven dollars. In the fire fund, we increased electrics. Electricity by 87, water and sewer by 27, and operating supplies by $4,025. Is it? Well, 
All righty, is there a motion to approve? Resolution 2019-54? I so move. Motion has been made. I have a second the motion. Any further discussion regarding Resolution 2019-54? Done, may we vote, please? Sure. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Um, and while we're on the uh, subject of amending current appropriations, mm -hmm. we, this Friday, since next week is fall, Christmas, it's Christmas Eve, it's Tuesday, and Christmas is Wednesday. What? Really? Isn't it? Yeah. I soon. I know. Yes. <laughs> I know. So um, I, I will probably be doing payroll for the fire department on Friday in order to get it to the, the banks, you know, in time to, um, to get it posted. Yeah. Uh, for, for the electronic fund transfer folks and um, and then Dan and his friend can get paid before Christmas Eve maybe on Monday oh you know I'll cut them your weekends on Friday right your pay period anyway Saturday so um, over the weekend maybe or early Monday morning sign some checks um, I won't be going over the weekend well, then you can do it. Yeah. Well, then Monday. I'm just trying to give you a heads up that we're pushing things just a little bit because Christmas Eve, Tuesday, when you they usually pick up their checks and stuff. And okay, but you got all those funds in. in well, place. and that's that's the other thing. I'm pretty sure I've I've stocked us up, but Dan might have overtime. But with the, the snow or something, I don't, you know, I just we'll see how it goes. It'll be you know. I'm just giving you a heads up. Maybe maybe if necessary, we'll have a quickie. Meeting to to talk to another resolution uh, right before Christmas. Hopefully okay. that'll be that should do, do it. But maybe not. It's possible I'll leave Friday. But but Monday you'll be back. Yes. Yeah. That's I'll be back. Yeah. Well, I I thought I'm pretty sure I beat things up pretty good with the last fiasco. So that's all. Thanks for being there. Anything else for the fiscal officer? Don? No. Uh, actually, yes. Okay. Uh, That's exciting. Water, you gave us a fund status mm -hmm. page. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I gave you revenue status and appropriations. Any, anything odd here? Odd? Other than miscellaneous capital projects, but it made different from previous years, and we're at the end oh. of the year. And we have a we have nice balance, balance. substantial carryover balance. I'll, I'll give us credit for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the Clifton, I mean the Grinnell Cemetery. Sorry, the Clint Forest Cemetery is um, been very busy, obviously. But those oak trees are. Well, you know, yeah, well, yeah, there's almost $70,000 in there, and we, um, I think we projected, we made like 20000 Yeah. Is our, 26 or something. Yeah, 26 yeah. yeah. And so, um, yeah, we pulled in $10,000 more than that. So it was real soon. Yeah, it's, the has been very busy. So, anyway. But the total. Total of fund balances excluding the capital project, mm -hmm. which we know is going to go out, uh, is almost a million dollars. Very good. Uh, well, the gas tax is definitely um, a factor. Yeah. It's a factor, and um, actually, I'm depositing tomorrow another fourteen thousand dollars in the gas tax time, which will put us up at one hundred and ten thousand dollars, and we only our budget was seventy-eight thousand. Mm -hmm. Well, that's so, yeah, that's nice. That's, and, I guess that's and, unusual. <coughs> that's odd. And we'll be able to do a substantial amount of road maintenance next year, which we put off forever. Is this a trickle down from the state? Um, um, it's, it's from the new, mm -hmm. yeah, from yeah. the new gas. Yeah, yeah it's generating. A, uh, it's just, no. yeah, it's mm -hmm. really um, doing a job. Yeah, because uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I left my room. I'm from, uh, 
of our budget was um, 80 some 75,000 and we now have one twenty three in there already. I'm not sure I didn't know what it is. So it's quite my tax has only been on what since August. July. July one yeah. yeah. That's pretty much enough. Yeah, well we brought a little over from last year. Yeah, uh, oh yeah. That's for, true. for the gas tax, mm -hmm. but still. Yeah, it's um it's doing well. And when we refer to pooled investments, this is through the state auditors. Yeah, star we have, we, yeah, we, 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 it's the start, the start, yeah, star plus, and um, just the star fund, yeah, star fund is what we had along the way. Then they proposed and instituted the star plus, um, saying that the interest rate was going to be better, and so we put some money in there and kept some in the star fund, and um, as it's turned out, the star plus investment fund isn't really doing, it's, it's very, very inconsequential where we put our money at this point. Either, either fund is it's very comfortable and um, interesting. So. Uh, roughly, we've taken in uh, thirty-two thousand in gas tax over what the budget was projected to be. So. Yeah, well, that's nearly half. It's a fifty yep. percent increase. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Uh, zone inspector, no zone inspector. Any zone information? Well, there was a meeting scheduled for tomorrow. There was. A, there was. <coughs> uh, and his last report said that there was not. There wasn't enough for a quor enough attendance for a quorum, and then tentatively. At least I wrote down. Mm -hmm. I may have misinterpreted what he said. Mm -hmm. So I may be going to that. Well, there. Um, I'm going to have to call around. There, there are Christmas appreciation cards were mailed, so we might be happy enough to meet. <laughs> well, of course, freezing rain may discourage. Those are hockey souls. All right, standing committee reports. Uh, MBRPC met, um, had a good meeting, had some good information. I'm sorry I didn't put the printed agenda out. Did you go to the TAC meeting? If they uh, had it? They had one in November and I did not go. Mm -hmm. uh, regional planning um, actually did not meet in November. They will meet. The executive committee met. Uh, it was just um, some financial stuff and the problem that we're experiencing now with losing our one full-time employee. Uh, we will meet again tomorrow and get an update on that. Um, you mentioned the cemetery. Anything other than what you talked about? Uh, I, I, I think I wrote it around last month. Okay. Was it? All right. Anyway, there's nothing. The, the main thing was I already brought up. Uh, I will just make a side comment that uh, we were reminded that in a, a will uh, that was dated roughly 2003, mm -hmm. uh, the cemetery is eventually to receive a house on 72, mm -hmm. and that this, assumably the sale of that. Uh, we'll go into caring for the cemetery. It's two houses there, or one lot. I think it. I, th I thought it was one house, it but it shares a driveway. It shares a driveway. Okay. That one might be the issue with the picture. And, and just not to have any other any misunderstanding, the proceeds of the sale of the house will be invested, and the investment income will be used. Assumedly, that is not specified in the, that's not a requirement in the will. It is a requirement in the will. Oh, okay. Yes, it is. Yeah, it has to yeah. go into something and you can reap the interest. So you, you've looked at this. Yeah. We were checking on the status of who's in the house. And mm -hmm. Well, that's good, huh? because 
don't know who's in there. It might be somebody else. Right. I mean, Will specified two people, one of whom was already dead at the time mm -hmm. we were contacted. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after that, we will show to us. Okay. The uh, ESC, um, I don't believe Mark went to the last meeting, but I'm not sure we have that thing. Uh, YSCDCEC. <laughs> uh, <Matt. laughs> and uh, we're continuing to work on the project of selling this building and getting organized. I, I don't know what I don't know what in the world the lawyer is doing or not doing. I do know what they're not doing. They're not sending in the 1023 form for the 501c3, but Somebody needs to give a little, little Christmas uh, nudge. Nudge, yeah. Uh, solid waste district, anything going on there? Complete census, anything going on? Oh, uh, we about that one. There's something on both. Mm. Uh, the complete, our role or my role on the complete census committee is pretty passive. Uh, the hot spots are people who <coughs> were kicked out of their homes by the tornado in Beaver Creek. Mm -hmm. How to make sure they're still counted here rather than their temporary housing. Mm -hmm. uh, college campuses. Uh, but more broadly, just publicity to everybody that the census counts. That is, and I mentioned this in an earlier meeting something on the order of $1,800 per person mm -hmm. comes into the county in federal monies that are given per capita rather than mm -hmm. uh, on more specific uh, demands or needs. Uh, is there a meeting scheduled for the first of the year or you know when the next one I don't one know is? when the next one is. There, there are sort of task forces on College campuses and oh, yeah. uh, homeless and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So the count doesn't actually start until 2020, though, right? Uh, I believe April is the. I think so. So you're going to want, like the college campuses, you're going to want to catch all those people before they head out for the summer, kind of thing. Right. Mm -hmm. And so what's going on now is publicity and. Uh, Kind of infrastructure of communication with local governments, and which is what this committee is for. Uh, but unlike that, the solid waste district, uh, we are a target because there's something along the order of seven percent of households in the county are on contract routes. Rather, I think that's the correct term, mm -hmm. where rather than through a, a group contract like the Village of Yellow Springs has with Rumpke. Mm -hmm. um, and so nearly all of those households, there's no formal recycling mm -hmm. other than taking recycling to the uh, county facility in Xenia. Mm -hmm. So it's more publicity than anything else, but public education around recycling. And the county overall is uh, way below national average is that right? uh, recycling. Hmm. Uh, well, that's not good. Um, and the push right now is, I think it's every three years, the state EPA reviews your county's plans. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and if the county's waste, solid waste district plans don't measure up, or say we just don't submit any plans, then the EPA can take over uh, management. So the incentive is yeah. coming up with local ideas. And more broadly, uh, we're going to be pushing on uh, school programs and trying to engage well, all ages, but junior high, high school, uh, in both 
low-key public education, and maybe some special service projects. Mm -hmm. uh, because children influence their parents in uh, uh, recycling habits. Uh, and the adopt a, a adopt a spot or adopt a section of a road mm -hmm. program mm -hmm. is being dispersed to a local initiative. Oh. So I'm I haven't written up a memo or uh, done anything substantive because it doesn't start until the middle of next year. Uh, I like the idea of. Miami Township saying, okay, we'll, we'll do adopt a, a road. The solid waste district will provide, you know, the bags and the, the equipment, that's not really equipment, but the materials, and we'll pick up and dispose of what we gather. Really? So it'll be like a volunteer uh -huh. work project kind of thing. Chris is excited about that comment. I thought, I misunderstood. I thought we, the adopted, the adoptee, Doctor actually just wrote a check to the county or whoever actually went out and did the you know, sheriff or jail or whatever. Whoever did the cleanup. I thought they just paid for it. I didn't know they oh, rather than actually do the yeah. Uh, that's not the way it was described to me. Yeah, could be different. I remember. Um, do they still do that? They sure. They used to. A lot of people oh, yeah. don't. But well, there are spots. Sometimes some major highways will see them. Mm -hmm. Because I've, really I've been looking for, uh, I'd be looking for, I'd be interested in coordinating some kind of volunteer work projects, and this is an easy way. Now, how much response there'll be, that's another matter. Oh, you might be looking to the youths again. Yeah, well, the Boy Scout troop might mm -hmm. then adopt a stretch. Mm -hmm. the, the Outdoor Education Center staff does stretch through goes, north of goes, mm -hmm. at least they have their name on a sign. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't, that's enough said. Right. And as far as I know, the mill's still there. I was in it the other day, it looked fine. Um, new business this evening, old business, there's still the the ongoing review of the comprehensive plan for Yellow Springs, it's in place now. I haven't had any information on how that's going in since the last meeting they had. So For Yellow Springs, you said? Uh-huh, yeah. Um, they asked me to be on the steering committee, and I said, okay. Oh, that you mean just for the village, then? Mm-hmm, Because yeah. we have one for the township. Right. And then there's a big one going on for Green County. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, I assume everything's going swimmingly. I'll have to look. I've got a timeline to see where we're supposed to be in this. There's supposed to be a series of, of group meetings mm -hmm. that are, you know, open mm -hmm. community-wide meetings. Yeah. Well, we I know that was one. one. Yeah, we've had the one, so I... And then there's a survey going on. Mm -hmm. Which is almost, I think, almost close. So, yeah. All righty, anything else? Deck the halls, hit the road. Where's the eggnog? Blue 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 Blue